Alongside Jesse Sampton, I'm Austin Price for the S&P Stock Report on this UAB Week homecoming. Just a few days from now, they'll have the banners draped over here at Neyland Stadium. Uh, from the uh, sororities and fraternities. Jesse, stock up for you this week. Stock up for me is Tennessee's bowl hopes. They got four games remaining. They need three wins to get to six. You got to like their chances right now with the way they're coming off that South Carolina victory, not only because of the way Tennessee's playing, but the fact that the schedule has kind of unfolded favorably for them. Now, the game at Kentucky next weekend is going to be tough. Night game, Wildcats coming off a bye, but suddenly Missouri looks imminently beatable the way they're playing lately. UAB, I know they're 6-1. and one. I'm not sure they have quite the horses to keep up with the Vols this weekend, and obviously Vanderbilt's a uh, tire fire right now, so you have to like Tennessee's chances to get back to a bowl game for the first time in a couple years. Stock up for me, the quarterback room. I mean, how do you not give the quarterback room a stock up? 300 yards. Where they did, you know, what they did this past week with 351 yards passing between JG and JT Shrout. And then just where they are as a whole. I mean, Brian Mowers flashed, Shrouts flashed, JG's playing like Garantano, not Garantano. I'm gonna beat that the tar out of that that joke until it's 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 got no feathers left. I mean, th- th- this room again just has continued to progress. Is that Chris Winkie? Is that Jim Cheney? That's probably both. I mean, Cheney's given his guys a chance to to be more successful and. Uh, you know, that's a big reason I go stock up quarterback room. Stock down for you. Stock down for me. Just one stock down this week. But I think it's Tennessee's first possession defense. Now, they did force a three and out against Mississippi State, but against Georgia, Alabama, and obviously South Carolina this past weekend, we saw uh, those three teams march down the field. Gamecocks first play, 75-yard score. Jeremy Pruitt earlier this week kind of lamented the way his defense has started some games, so they need to start faster. That'll obviously be a key not only Saturday against UAB, but especially in the last couple remaining conference games, Kentucky, Missouri, and Vanderbilt. Stock stagnant? Let's just go with the overall health of the team. Darnell Wright day-to-day with a with an ankle sprain. It, you know, you've got Daryl Taylor with a, with a leg contusion who's day-to-day. I, you know, I go back and forth. I, you know, you talk about Daryl Taylor, you know, gutting through it and playing. I kind of go like, do you really need him to beat UAB? I know UAB is a one-loss team, and you got to respect them, especially after Georgia State. But I, this team's going to hear Georgia State all week long. I think that you know you're going to have some guys step up. You had some guys step up Saturday when Daryl Taylor went out first play. DeAndre Johnson comes in, gets to the quarterback, shoots the bow and arrow, and has a big time. This is a team that's you know kind of had some of those young guys rub off on uh, or some of those old guys rub off on some young players as they've continued to grow up. Yeah, and is, is it an opportunity to get Kovaris Crouch maybe back involved? Yeah. You know, he only played four snaps on Saturday. Perhaps they look to flex him out wide and play a little bit more. You know, when Dar- uh, Darnell Wright went out, Jameer Johnson that went in, they obviously flipped Wanye. We'll see what they do if, if Darnell can't go for a whole game, but I think they like what they got from Jameer. Even Marcus Tatum gave him some quality snaps at times on Saturday. So at least Tennessee's, they have a lack of depth overall, but some of these backups have kind of shown some development and, and, and some real play on Saturday against South Carolina. That's a look at the S&P Stock Report on this UAB week. He's Jesse Sampton. I'm Austin Price.